Hi guys, welcome to another interesting tutorial. I'm Yinky and today shall be the making of a petticoat. And I'll be discussing how to make a petticoat in this course. Like I told you, we've started the new course, which is the wedding dress. And today's lesson is basically on the petticoat. So I'll tell you the basic requirements you need when you want to make a petticoat. So you can see the picture of the one I have made. You can see how beautiful it is. You can make it as wide as you can. But what I'll be teaching you here is just the basics. What you need to know. How big you, sh you, you should make your petticoat to look or how small it should look. We all know that a petticoat is the structure of a wedding dress. So if you want to have a perfect princess wedding dress princess ball dress you need to construct your petticoat in a way that it will give your wedding dress structure and the final look that will be so beautiful and elegant so in this course i'll be showing you how to calculate for your petticoat and all the measurements you need in to make your petticoat you can see a figure on the board this figure on the board is a, a female figure and it, let's recall the measurement from the shoulder to the half length is 16 and a half inches and from the shoulder to the floor level as in the dress length is 61 inches 61 inches that's the full dress length so having gotten that for the skirt from the from the waist to the floor level i subtracted 16 and a half from 61 then I have 44.5. So this 44.5 will now be the skirt length. The skirt length now is 44.5 If we are when we are making the, the skirt. That's the measurement we are going to use. But we are still going to add um, sewing allowance to it. We are still going to add uh, allowance to it because it will be bogus. So we need to add like allowance of 6 inches to it so that it will be fine. So here now, for the petticoat, I'm, going, I'm not going to allow the petticoat to reach the floor level. As you can see the floor level now, I will not allow the petticoat to reach that level. So I will allow it to go up a little. So from this 44.5, which is the actual skirt length, I'm going to subtract 4 point, that, that 4.5. 44.5 is what we have. Then I will subtract 4.5 from it. Then I'm going to have 40 inches left for me. That's the length of my petticoat. So this 40 inches is the length of my petticoat. It must not get to the floor level so as not to give the wearer discomfort. So right now, we'll be working with 40 inches petticoat length. So I will now be, the next thing is to calculate for uh, how the, the measurement on the petticoat. So right now, on the petticoat right now, on this waist, we are going to divide it into four panels. Two panels at the front and two panels at the back. Imagine your fabric and the measurement you are using for the waist of your, you are going to put elastic. First measurement will be the hip circumference because we are going to put an elastic rubber on the waist. So instead of, so we are going to divide the waist into four panels on the waist. So if we divide it into four panels, we said we have nine inches. So nine inches here and the downside must be wider than the upper part. So the end line of the petticoat must be wider. So you are going to times multiply with the actual waist, the, this um, waist measurement that we have here, multiply by 3, then we have 27. So here we have 27. That means if we have 9 inches here, we have 27 here. So this is how it is going to be. So we have 27 here, 9 inches here, 27 on the down line. You can see this is wider. So here, yeah, that means you can utilize, that means you can utilize this other part also. This will be 9 inches and this will be 27 inches. You do likewise for the back panel also. So this is what we have. So I can do it like this, just cut it like so. So that the length here will be 40 inches and 40 inches. But when you are cutting your nine and a half, you must add sewing allowance of half inch to this to join all the panels together. That will be made on the fabric. Then I will explain that also when we are cutting 
the net. So what we use, the material we use to make this petticoat is hard net. So the only measurement you need is the hip circumference transferred to the waist circumference to make your petticoat and divide it into um, panels, like four panels. So you can make this times four if you wish. It depends on the client's choice. So some, some clients do want it to be bogus, to be so big. But this is my client's choice. She does not want it to be too big. She just wants it to be elegant and moderate. So I'll be using times three of the waist measurement.